All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Thanks so much for hopping on and joining our SkySlope Masterclass. Today, we'll be talking about managing those property files, what affects those property statuses, and how to keep everything active and nicely moving towards the close. Uh, now, one thing to note, I will be demoing today out of our agent demo account. That is why I have that little agent label there. However, if you are an admin or a broker and you're joining us or a transaction coordinator, of course, joining us here today, uh, you will still have the same access to what I touch on. So I just like to clarify, I'll be working out of an agent demo account. All right, so a little bit more about today's session. We like to keep our master classes short and sweet. So we'll take up roughly about 10-ish minutes or so of content uh, with time at the end for questions. So because we are moving quickly and right along, I do ask that you ask any questions in that chat feed for me. And then at the end of our session here, I'll make sure that all of those questions get answers. So we'll start today's session with types of files in Skyslope. We'll talk about our listings, our transactions, and really what is making those changes happening through the platform. We'll then talk about notifications. As these transactions, as these files are aging within your Skyslope account, hey, we have ways to notify you when changes are made. So we'll touch on notifications within your profile. We'll then talk about coming to the close. We'll set this up so you know really what's going to happen on that next step. And then, of course, once that close does happen, that close of escrow, really where those files will go to live. So excited, we'll dive into this here today and we'll start off by getting logged in to that demo agent account. Uh, so for those of you who are also agents and joining today, this will look very familiar to you. My admin and brokers, the one uh, really difference there is you don't have the ability to review files. So you'll notice that documents to review home icon is not present, but we are still working with two types of files. We have our listings, and our transactions. Of course, we know listings, this is going to ask us questions relevant to that listing agreement. We're going to answer questions relevant to our seller. And if we have a listing file in progress, we'll find that under this manage listings icon. Let's go ahead and click right in. So first things first, here I have a list of my properties that I'm working on and I'm going to see a status right next to it. So this active status here is exactly what we want to see. And it's simply indicating that this expiration date has not passed. Now, this is very basic for listing since there's really not a lot of timelines here. We're looking at a little bit more of a generalized uh, time frame simply because we're waiting for a buyer to really step into the scene. So here I have that active status. While these property files are hanging out, I am submitting in documentation for that you know, pre-escrow process to my brokerage for that review. But if I ever do run into the situation where this active status turns into this expired status, it's simply indicating we've passed this expiration date. Now, no worries. Even though that's a nice red banner, looks a little scary, that is okay. We can update this no problem. We'll come right here into this listing tab. I've already filled this out when creating the property file, but hey, we know things change. So here I can see we've got those listing and expiration dates. If I need to hop in, maybe push this guy out a few more months, we need a little bit more time. I can go ahead and do so. I'll go ahead and hit next, that will save my changes. And you'll notice that status is now marked as active once again. Now that is perfect, that is where we want to hang out. Until that buyer comes in the mix, we want to stay with our listings in this active status bringing us right on over into our checklist. Of course, we know when we're working on a listing, if a buyer does come on the scene, we'll indicate such by clicking accept contract. We are not creating two different property files. We're keeping all of our documentation in one place by clicking this accept contract button in order to push this right on over to become a transaction. All right, so we also, of course, have that withdraw listing option. Your admin team will need to approve any changes if it indicates a cancellation. 
bringing us right on back to our sky slope home base. So again, we have our listings here moving right along. We want to keep them in that nice active status. But what if we're approaching that expired date? What if we are approaching uh, also maybe the close of escrow? I can set up notifications so that I'm alerted as this progress is happening. I do not want to be caught off guard. We are very busy in this industry. So let's go ahead and automate this process and make it a little bit simpler. I'll drop down my name here and I'll click right into the My Account gear. First, it'll bring me into personal information. Now I will want to include my assistant or my transaction coordinator, anyone who might need to know the status of my property files, I can also choose to add them in here as an alternative email address. Once that's taken care of, you have the option to toggle on that send notification option. And the notifications that we're referring to are going to be within this second tab. So this guy right here is great because you can set this up to email yourself a few days before that listing is set to expire. Really easy way to stay on top of that property file status, but not adding any extra steps to your day. You're going to automatically receive that email that lets you know a quick summary of those property files and really what to expect. You can jump in, update that expiration date, of course, so it reflects accurately. You also have these other notifications for transactions. Let me know before this transaction is set to close. If I have documents that I need to submit in prior to getting paid, this is a great one. Keeps me on my toes. I'm staying on track of my property files. And of course, you have some other options here. You'd like to tap into any other action happening. So if that listing price changes and you want to know about it, no problem, we've got a toggle. And if you do choose to take uh, to take part here in task and email notifications, you do have the ability to toggle on notifications, tasks are assigned. Now, I do recommend if you do choose to take part in this email task notification, I personally like this daily summary instead. I do get quite a few notifications here since they are really individual actions happening to trigger that. But this daily summary will just give me a nice overview of all of that action. All right, bringing us right back to our Sky Slope home base. So again, we have our listings here moving along, but once we have a buyer come into the mix, or maybe I was representing a buyer from the start, then I, of course, would be working with my transaction file here and the in progress files I'll find under manage transactions. Now we actually have a few different statuses involved on the transaction side. Taking a look, I can see I've got this pending status. This is really what we want. This orange pending status indicates that we are working towards that close date. I can also see that this guy here is labeled expired. I have some incomplete items that I need to finalize. And of course, to update that closing date, if we may need to push this out a little bit further. Now I'm also going to notice this incomplete status. Now this purple incomplete status is definitely something to pay attention to. What this means is this property here is still kind of in a limbo. So let's go ahead and click in and see really where we stopped our progress in order to give us this purple incomplete. All right, so we can see here, we ended on the transaction tab. And it looks like I still need to select a listing type or a checklist type, I should say. We'll go ahead down here and I'll indicate that this is a traditional sale. Keep in mind your brokerage will customize your checklist options. We'll go ahead and grab traditional sale and I'll go ahead and put in these acceptance and close dates. So this just looks like this is what we were missing. Push this guy out, of course, demo account, keep in mind. Hit next. And you'll see I'll still have this incomplete. Now that is simply because I will need to complete out my other tabs and save my progress. The brokerage will not be notified that you have this new file or you have this new buyer in the mix for a listing until that incomplete status registers instead. Oops, go ahead and give a sales price here. until that status instead reads pending. 
So you can see guys, after I complete out that transaction, contacts and commission tab, I have access to the entire file. If you're agents or you happen to be working on a property file and you save your progress within one of these tabs, but do not quite make it to that checklist, that is where that incomplete status will appear. We want to be sure we are keeping that pending status so that our brokerage is really receiving those updates as we're working our way to the close. Let's go ahead and head back to our transactions. So now I can see we've got pending. I still have that expired status, so I can go in and update this. I'll complete my progress here in order to gain that also purple pen or that orange pending status. Uh, but you'll notice I also have some shortcuts on this page. Let's say for some reason, this property here, I need to cancel this transaction. Now I can go ahead and do so. As an agent, I'll need to provide reasoning back to my brokerage. So my admin team will see my reasoning for that cancellation. Once that is approved, it will be removed out of this subsection here. So if I do indicate a cancellation of any sort, it'll give this canceled pending status. And that just simply means it's waiting for my admin's approval. Now you'll notice I also have a closed transactions to be archived. Very simple, I have a closed status that's simply indicating that I still have a few items to be submitted into my checklist for review. So you can really think of this section here as on your admin team's radar. They wanted a subsection to keep these property files separate from the rest because these we need to go ahead and pay out our agents. However, we just need to capture those few remaining items. So keep an eye on those transactions and again, set up those notifications. So when your property files are moving through these pages here, you know exactly where to find them and what's going on. Bringing our way right on back to our home base, we'll go ahead and wrap up today's training. Once again, listing file, when you are representing a listing, asking questions about that listing agreement. Transactions, when we're either representing the buyer from the start or our listing has had an offer accepted. Now, incomplete checklist, you can definitely use this guy here to stay on top of those incomplete items prior to the close. But of course, once that close happens, you can find them here within your access archives. Any canceled files will live here under canceled contracts. You can request your admin team to reactivate those at any time. If you need to hop in, possibly resume where you left off your progress. Of course, reminder to toggle on those notifications using that My Account section, that little gear. And you can even tack in any additional recipients of those notifications to help you stay on top of that movement. Last but not least, you always have access to our amazing support team. So keep an eye on those property file statuses. We actually have a great article here within our support page, our property file statuses. So you can go ahead and search that into that main knowledge bar base and it will break down what we covered here today. So this here is a great guide to everything that we touched on. Feel free if you'd like to star this page, come back for easy reference, letting you know how to move those expired listings into a good active status and keeping those property files out of that purple incomplete. Of course, if you have any further questions, once we wrap up today, you'll always have access to that amazing support team if you need to send in a message possibly post a question for us if there's a feature suggestion you'd like to see us include within Skyslope. And of course, if you would like to chat in, we'll go ahead and take one more step back. You have the ability to chat in using this little chat bar down at the bottom. So with that, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap up today's masterclass. We'll go ahead and bring my slideshow up once again. Now I'm going to pose a quick challenge for you. Take this information that you gathered here, really what those statuses mean, pop into your own Skyslope account and just take a moment to review the statuses of your own property files. If you're seeing incompletes, if you're possibly seeing 
uh, those expired statuses, anything that might need to be updated to reflect a nice active status, go ahead and do so. Your brokerage, of course, will thank you. Let them know if you had any uh, property specific questions there for your progress, of course. And let's guys let know if we can be of assistance. So with that, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap up. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop them into that chat feature and we'll get to them now.